Happy birthday, Mike. Happy birthday, Mike. Hey, Mike, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Hey, Mike, just want to say happy birthday. Just want to wish Mike a happy birthday. Happy birthday, Mike Grady. Super great guy, uh, tons of passion for the sport, and uh, just really friendly, uh, outgoing, just a, just a super great guy in general. I got into racing after he had sadly passed away, but being able to come and race and remember him and know what he did and how he basically was the pioneer of RC racing, it really means a lot to be able to come here and celebrate him and what he did for our hobby. You know, I think a lot of people forget what this event really is, and it was for Mike Reedy's birthday, and you know, he wanted to put on a show. The fact that we're able to do a race, rep you know, representing him as a person and what he did for the hobby is just incredible. I think uh, this race is very important because there's not a there's not a lot of people in this industry that made or make such a big impact to the industry or to any industry like Mike did. He saw the bigger picture of what RC racing was. We'd always see that smiling face walking around the track, trying to help somebody, trying to see what he could do to bring a new up and coming driver uh, and try to get him at the top of the game. Starting as a kid, I really was always for fun. And then I think one of my first events ever going to was uh, a Reedy race in Costa Mesa and I was just a little kid so going into it and just kind of watching and they don't have any idea what was going on just seeing how many people there were it was always something that was always intriguing for me to go to all the big races and just see all the top guys so it's amazing. I, I know for sure if Mike was still here he would he would appreciate the fact that the competition is still going. Uh, this is a very difficult race for all the other races uh, all of the best are here um, it's a different type of tracks I'm used to, uh, different than what we have in Europe. It's very hard to win the race, maybe even harder than winning the Worlds, I think, because uh, you got to be so good throughout like the whole 12 rounds uh, that we had. Just to be on there for one time is great, and being able to get on there as many times as I have, it's pretty much uh, amazing. To win the Reedy race under the Reedy name for the first time in 17 years is definitely very special and I was happy that I was the one able to do it. I know there have been many close, but you got to be able to do it and it, for, for it to be my second Reedy title, uh, definitely could be more proud of that moment. I mean, I would just say for anybody really that's wanting to be on our stage, it takes a lot of uh, sacrifice, a lot of uh, will and just uh, keep pushing and I feel like Anybody that puts their mind to it will get to it. It's pretty crazy to think that I'm actually in invite. Now that I'm in invite, I just can't wait. More heads up racing with the guys I always want to race with. It's awesome. I'm really happy to be here. It was a great emotion. It was inevitable because it's inevitable because it's the first time I'm in the continent American. It's become this, this big spectacle. Being able to race heads up versus all the best drivers in the world, no qualifying. And I just love the re race probably more than any other race. It's just truly awesome to see everyone come to the one place at one time and just race the race. The vibe, the feel in the pit area. To get a chance to race against 30 of the best drivers in the world, 12 heads up starts, it's just insane. Hey, here we go. The Reedy race definitely is a button on the bucket list. Um, I've been so close a few times. Um, it'd be really nice to get it this year. Uh, it's just a crazy race, so you really never know what's gonna happen. important to continue this event and to continue to teach these young kids who Mike Reedy was and 
why My Greedy was and what My Greedy was about. Ronnie, Ronnie. you're making a shitload of noise right now. <laughs> that was actually not that good. I'll tell you if it's good. Okay. <laughs> Some people, huh? Some people's good.